today I'm going to show you how to make paper stars, like this one right here, out of, obviously, paper. Um, so what you're going to need, I've already put the list on the blog above, so I'm just going to do a video presentation of how to do this. Um, I'm going to use... Uh, I guess this green one right here, or no, this purple one. Okay. I have to pick piece of paper. I'm gonna move this out of the way so it doesn't get all distracting. So you're gonna take your piece of paper, like so, about a half inch by 12 inches, and you're going to take one end and fold it like so. And making sure that the shorter end is about two inches long. I can usually tell by eye how long something is if it's short. If that makes any sense. Um, and you're going to want to make this end into a pentagon. So you're going to fold it over like so, matching this edge right here with this corner. Like that. And try to make sure that this part right here is about a half an inch. Then you're going to fold this part behind, and then the remaining end of this little tail over like that. So you have a little pentagon right there. You have a really long tail about 10 inches long. Then you're going to wrap the remaining long tail around, so you're going to fold it around back on itself, and then just keep wrapping around, wrapping it as tight as you can. but not warping it so you're going to want to put a little bit of tension on it like pulling like this as you're folding just to make it tight because if it's loose you'll end up with a really wonky star that looks kind of like this and if you look at one side it's actually all bent and warped on that side so that's the star I wouldn't use for a bracelet so you're going to keep folding Like once you get the hang of it, you can do it pretty fast. And then you're going to take this remaining end here and fold it or stick it in this slot right there. Sometimes if it doesn't go in, but it did this time, you can use an extra piece of paper. Like this is just what I cut off the green one that I made and stick it in there and then push this in to help guide it in. And then you'll have a nice clean pentagon with no edges or flaps hanging out everywhere so you can barely really tell where it begins and where it ends and then you're going to take your thumb and press in between two of the points so this one and this one and you're just gonna press in like so to help inflate your star and give it more of a star shape so see how it's like that and then you're going to do that to all the sides. Just press in and press in. You can even use your fingernail if you want to. Whatever works. And press in. If you don't have nails, there is another option. And I just have to make a quick start to show you how to do that. See, once you get really good at it, you can actually do it pretty fast. This requires not a lot of time, but I've been doing this for a couple years, so I've perfected my star making skills. And see here, this one I didn't really make as tight as I wanted it to. And stick these ends in so and then you can take something like this I just have a steel ruler and it has a nice sharp end like so and you can just use this to push it in if you don't have nails because um, when I cut my nails off a while back I couldn't make stars you just do it like this and it makes nice sharp corners like so and just 
push in, trying to make it as close to the center of each um, of the two points as possible. And there you go. And there's a star. The difference is um, one's a little sharper than the other, I guess. But either way works. So that's how to make a star.